Hello everyone and welcome back to Anime on Draft, episode 35, the first one of the new year, 2018. The Woo. year of 2018 million. No. The um, year of our Lord Gumi. Also no. <laughs> um, I'm your host, Rolando, and you, you are hearing my lovely co-hosts, Alec. Yo. And Drew. I'm glad you didn't call me Dreyfus for this. Oh, sorry, episode. I I, I <laughs> sorry. said his name wrong. Um, Dreyfus, Uncle um, Dreyfus, Uncle Dreyfus. So Stop. <laughs> we've got a lot on the slate today. We have quite a bit to cover, including our kind of end of the year 2017 kind of wrap up in terms of beer and anime. So Recap. that's going to be something to Get look hype. forward to. Get yes. hype! 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 So um, why don't we go ahead and just get straight into the pairing. So the beer is the Asylum by Left Coast Brewing Company. It is a Belgian triple. So uh, Drew, why don't you uh, lead us through this since you picked it? I Have we done a lot of triples on this? Like I feel like we haven't done a lot, and that's like one of the reasons I picked it. Um, also, so. the the bottle reminded me of like Arkham Asylum, and I like Batman. Um, and there's like gargoyles guarding a fence with lightning and it's like kind of almost, um, what's that, what's that English band, uh, Iron Maiden. It kind of reminded me of that. Um, I know we did that beer like earlier. I was going to say more so than that beer. (laughs) Yeah, no, it it wasn't, it wasn't more so than that beer, but it kind of reminded me of that. It kind of reminded me of Batman and we haven't done like a triple in a while, um, and it's also 11.8%. I just noticed that and I'm like, I'm already drunk. So if <laughs> I have to drink this whole thing and I'm going to get more drunk. So apologies. But uh, yeah, it seemed it seemed like a good beer. Um, I poured it out and it's like very it's very dark. Um, it's more it reminds me kind of the color of a Newcastle, like the regular Newcastle. Not the blue um, nasty. No, not not that monstrosity but uh, it looks good it smells good um so I'm gonna, I'm have dr- any head it had very little um it just dis- it like there's still like a thin layer that's on it um that hasn't dissipated it started like with a big head and then that disappeared but there's still like a little bit on there and there's some legs going on but i'm gonna i I'm tried gonna to pour i tried to pour mine very like vigorously and it didn't really have any head at all Mine had a lot. I don't know. Um, I just took a sip, though. Lots of uh, legs sticking onto that guy. And uh, it tastes pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's got that classic Belgian yeah. ale taste to it. You can the taste wheat, like the, for sure. the wheat. Um, the, whatchamacallit. Coriander. Mm-hmm. Big on coriander, yeah. I agree with that. Not not really much more than that, but it's good. I like it. I wonder why do they call it the asylum? It was like locked away and like tripled in an the asylum. The coriander is tripled in an asylum. <laughs> You trifling. You trifling. I mean I don't know, it's it, it's not the best, but it's 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 got good flavor, good smell. Um I definitely it's simple. It it's very simple. I'm trying to read the back so like the label says because like I'm trying to figure out why they call it asylum. Um, when they say the the first line says it has a beautiful golden color and it's not it's not like, golden. It's, it's not golden <laughs> at all. It's dark. <laughs> it's like amber. It, it is like an amber color. So it's a red a gold. Of, yeah. It's a rose gold. It's a it's rose not, gold color. It's not mm-hmm. golden. Um, 
It does have a light it, body. For it says it's sweet and spicy, but it's definitely not spicy at it's all. It's not spicy at all. It's sweet. I don't really like. Yeah, it does have a kind of fruity aroma, but yeah, yeah. I don't taste any fruit. I I don't taste any fruit or citrus or anything. I honestly just taste like wheat and coriander. Yeah, that's that's all I get from it. And I mean, coriander is a like a spice. It's domi- it's, a, it's a dominating flavor for sure. It's not like spicy at all, at all. <laughs> but it, it it does have a good mouthfeel. Um, it goes down smooth. Um, I wish mine was a little bit colder, but and it'll that's fuck on, you up. That's on me. Well, yeah, it will. It's eleven, fucking almost twelve percent. So it's gonna get you get you there. But is 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 decent drinkability. It's kind of got like a lingering like aftertaste that I'm not too too fond of. But it's decent. It's not bad. I mean. As far as triples go, it it's it's not like no. the worst one, but it's kind of got like a caramel taste to it. Yeah, I I'm I get that. I get the, the little caramel sweetness in there. I'm kind of like perplexed because I'm not. This is like odd to me a little bit. Yeah, for for a, a triple, it's. Yeah, that, I think that's the best word to describe it. It's odd. I'm going to take another drink and see what I think. It's drinkable. But do you, do you get what I'm saying kind of with the aftertaste? It's kind of funky. Yeah, I think that's just like because there's a lot of coriander like lingering around. It's like too much. Too much coriander. It it needs it needs it needs something else. It 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 there's it begs for like a little bit of like zest of something. Yeah, it needs like, like the citrus or malt. That, no, uh, not more malt. More more like orange. Mm. There. What what I'm getting is like a severe lack of balance in the yeah. in the flavor. Like it's palatable. The, it's got like that sweet like caramel taste, but like that aftertaste of coriander is a little just weird and just overall it just seems very simple which i mean i've said simple is good before but this is like simple in a different sense that i'm not really sure what to feel about it yeah it's like i get the like the caramel is very subtle um and it's it's almost like it doesn't belong um the coriander is super strong and then you get like the wheat um, kind of aftertaste and it 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 needs it needs some life it needs some like fruity freshness in there to kind of bring it all together and it just doesn't doesn't have that so rather than saying it's simple would you say it's oversimplified as a triple yeah it it doesn't have like the same complexity that a triple normally has you think of a triple and you, you have like depth of flavor yeah. whereas you drink you drink this and it's just like this is what it is it's kind of basic um to answer your question earlier Alec I would not buy this again I mean it, it it's it's decent but mm-hmm. it's it's drinkable and it's like I can easily drink all of this like no problem mm-hmm. but just because it lacks that depth of flavor we're, we're saying and at the price of like eight bucks mm-hmm. yeah. uh for a for a whole bomber of it like i don't i don't think i would buy eight this bucks anymore. for a bomber and i want the zumbar chocolate coffee stout yeah like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, want, like I want to cream my pants every time i taste <laughs> it belching beaver horchata bullshit mexican <laughs> hot chocolate oh, stout whatever <laughs> I, I went to that brewery when I was back in San Diego, and it was okay, handy emoji, but that's that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good brewery. I mean, I guess we should wrap this up. Alec doesn't have the beer yeah. because he couldn't find it, and probably Check, too bad good that he you're saved. Probably, he saved like you're eight probably, bucks. <laughs> yeah, you're probably lucky that you didn't get it. I was um, gonna ask, am <laughs> I in luck that I didn't have to taste this? Yeah, I mean, you would have probably appreciated it, but it's just it's it's not that it's good. Meh. <laughs> appreciated um, it's the meh. lack of flavor that it has. Uh, to do something different, uh, Drew, 
in like about three seconds, I want you to say what your rating is and I'll say mine. Shall I count down? All right. Three. Yeah, go out. Go ahead. All right. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Two and a half. 2.75. That's pretty close. <laughs> yep. Um, so not yep. very good. <laughs> yeah. Man. Not a 50%. It's yeah. It's not meh. a 50%. It's meh. <clears throat> That's um, an F in case you guys are out of the game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, anyways, moving on from... Uh, you know, this beer. Um, <laughs> yeah. Did you guys see the finale for Love is Like a Cocktail? I did. 12, 12 and 13? Is that is that what we're talking about here? Um, 13. We talked about 12, didn't we? Last time. Excuse me. It's been a while. I think it was like 11 because she just got into the bar. And then 12 is like when she actually drinks like that mango shit. And then 13 is like, I love you. Cuck me. Yes. But we, I, I thought we talked about twelve. I think we talked about twelve because we said it was boring and weird. No, because I we the last one we talked about was eleven, and they didn't have a drink, and then like they had like two like boom boom, and I think we missed one of them or something. Twelve I, didn't I have know. a drink either. No, they did. They the didn't mango, explain it. Mango cummies. Did they explain it? No, they explained it no. in this episode. In yeah, this yeah. one, they explained. Yeah, right. <laughs> Anyways, it. Mango cocktail thing. Yeah. It's With basically pineapple, shaved ice. Pineapple was pissed and mango was pissed and they all happily ever after the end. Yeah. Basically. I guess so. <laughs> the, the only thing you need to know about this episode is at the very end, we see what looks like Sora's dad, who is like the mm-hmm. the, the bar, master bartender of like the, mm-hmm. the bar that they met in. And um, he's like, you know, giving a glass to that freaking single crazy chick. Ch- single chick that's friends with um, uh, with Chi Chan, whatever her mm-hmm. I don't know her yeah. full name is Chi Chi or I don't, I don't know. something something and uh, Chiaki Chi <laughs> Chiki. But you see the <laughs> there's like another old dude in the bar with like a bunch of like young chicks around him, like like ah, it's, it's like oh him. so so now. Uh, hitting on uh, the old grandpa's hitting on the the fucking single friend so yeah yeah, yeah. that's all you need to yeah. know and i think i think and then he right was after like the that, go well he uh, i think i think <laughs> the guy in the bar was like the the older dude in the company that they all work at and he's just oh, like yeah. mingling ming, might... mingling with the, the ladies he's I, just I trying to get him. laid yeah. and he's not yeah. as he's no I, I think he can because he's a salary man and he's high up so Oh man, it. yeah, and oh, he man. looked like but Sora not did show. when he was young. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, so, but then after all of this, I don't know if you guys saw, but after the credits, they showed her tits, chichans. They were just like boom boobs. They just did it. It was just. Well, I I was Sora gonna, I was gonna ask, I was gonna ask you guys like she's like an alcoholic, right? Like yeah, yeah she's an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, she's an alcoholic. <laughs> he he like he he got her to drink and she's like addicted to it and like that's what, like in that episode she was <laughs> she, she was got like pissed this is like she Jones give her like cur- curry yeah. curry doesn't have alcohol here's and, like, yogurt and she's like puffing <laughs> yogurt and doesn't have alcohol she's like fucking pissed and then he like gives her like a drink and she's like yeah give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, yeah. and he never no, drinks like the whole episode, so like she's she's an alky, like right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what what do you guys think about the series as a whole? Um, Love is like a cocktail. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun to watch, except for eleven and twelve, which were kind of random and weird. And there were some good cocktails out of it, namely one, two Irish coffee and the the shandy. So, yeah. so two cocktails that we already yeah, knew. Existed. The rest were yeah, exactly. <laughs> the rest were kind of like exotic. Eh. Kind of exotic. Yeah, it was like, hey, you need a blender and a fucking like ice infuser, and then you also need to be in fucking Canada, and then you can make this drink. <laughs> it's like, why? This is stupid. But otherwise, I, it's enjoyable to watch. I don't, I don't know what you guys rated. I gave it an eight. I think it, I think it was enjoyable. It, it was never a burden to watch. I mean, a three minute episode is never hard to watch, but I I felt like it was fine. The animation was excellent for the most part. Um, 
just you know a super light show that i would watch it like in the middle of anime and like i need to break this up with something cute and fun and mm-hmm. that's what i would do it so it was it was it was fine i i know there's like a lot of like one off shows and like short 3 minute shorts like that and th- this was one of the ones that was more enjoyable for me so all right alec what was your rating out of 10 i'd probably give it like a 7 and a half or 8 like wasn't hard to watch the characters were, you know, like you could actually enjoy the characters. Um, and then otherwise it was, you know, short and you could put it in with other, like, like Drew said, break up stuff or, Hey, I only have five minutes, 10 minutes to watch something. I'll just watch this real quick. And then it's not a long investment and it's still fun to watch. So give it an eight as well. Yep. Yeah. I'm kind of with you guys. It's an eight. It's pretty like it, it's not innovative. It's nothing really new in the three minute format. It's usually just, you know, one thing happens and then it's over. Yeah. The, like mm-hmm. in at least in this case, like there was always like something, I guess, cute or I would I don't want to say touching because she's basically an alcoholic and I say it like every episode, <laughs> but I think she has a drinking problem. Maybe. But I mean, for, you know, a three minute little short, it's, you know, fun to watch. Uh, nothing much more to say about that. So yep, I agree. Eight's all around. Um, yeah. So let's move into the main anime topic for this pairing, which is the finale for a sister's all you need. Finale. So um, this episode was kind of so just a wrap up kind of the mm-hmm. all the repercussions of what happened in like the previous episodes. So, um, Drew, why don't we start with you? What did you think of, I guess, essentially how the season ended? It looks like they're kind of hinting for another season, but who knows? Hopefully. Ken- Kentoku is pretty popular in Japan, so I could see it getting another season. I kind of doubt it. At this point, but uh, this was this is one of the big surprises for me, and we'll kind of get into that later. But um, I liked it. Um, being an author seems like it's really hard. I mean, they played that board game, um, <laughs> and it seemed like you know trying to get started in any kind of level, you know, whether it be like publishing on the internet to moving to like a high, like highly uh, reputable publisher, is a pain in the ass. And we kind of saw a little bit of that. Um, I liked um, what I saw for, um, God, what's her name? Um, Miyako. Miyako, yeah. Uh, her, like, wanting to be an editor. I, I felt like I saw that coming, and I thought that was good. Um, I I hated how they ended it, where it's like, you know, Itsuki thinks he's like, well, as long as I don't have a little sister, you know, I can keep going. And then like he shows, uh, <laughs> he shows his little sister his little in the sister. bath. And, like, I need to tell him like right coming. now. And I'm like, Oh God, you mean his little don't, brother. Don't, it's going to confuse him. <laughs> it's gonna, and then he won't be able to make his he, anime. He's already and like fail. going for <laughs> and fucking he Naita get, and he's like now going to get won't confused. get with her. He won't uh, get with her because that, he can't write his anime and me- catch like, up to her, and then he'll get with Miyako, and then everything is like going I, cr- get with crazy. <laughs> I, I saw it coming, but it was just like, no, don't tell him. Like, I want him to be successful. Like, I'm, I'm rooting for him. Um, but I mean, we kind of saw like the culmination of everything. You know, animes fail. Um, you know, authors are successful and, and all that jargon. I, I, I really like this show. Um, it was, and we'll talk about it later, but it was one of my kind of surprises for, uh, 2017, especially the way that it started. Um, but just, just, just a, a super, a, 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 a super good show. the way it started. <laughs> I drank, I drank my sister's milk and ate her eggs. What I, I the think everybody, fuck is going I think everybody on? remembers the way it started. And that's what makes, Epic. I think that's what makes this show great. And yeah. it kind of feeds off, like, it's not as grandiose and as ridiculous as that, like moving forward, but you get hints of that and you're just like, <laughs> I appreciate that. Like, like you the know, random fan service episode with the tentacle monster. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and double dicks, and you know, <laughs> yeah. not double dicks. 
Yeah, no there, there were. Oh, there that's were, right. There the were three di- meter, the double three meter dick that he beats with his single three meter yeah. dick. You know, there, the, there the was dick that. master. Oh God. But I, I, I'm okay with it. I, I really, I really like this show. I'll, I'll let you guys talk about it a little bit more. But this, this is, this is one of my, uh, one of my favorites of this year for sure. All right, Alec, what did you think of the finale? Um, I, you know, overall, I, you know. It, it was kind of that recap, but I enjoyed it. I I definitely saw the whole. I can I could do this so long as I long for little sister, and then the little sister brother person thing. Going, oh, I need to tell him. <laughs> but what really pissed me off about this episode, and I don't know why, it's probably irrational. But at the very end, where fucking um, Nayuta is like, oh. The Itsuki loves me. He's always been the best author in my mind. I thought it was cheap. Like, I thought it cheapened the sentiment because we all already knew that's how she felt. And when they actually, like, spelled it out there, it felt random and out of place and cheap. And it pissed me off. It really, really well, pissed me off. I was like, this we, is stupid. Ta- Why did you do that? Like, we t- we talked about it before and we're like, is she going to, like, like cheapen, cheapen her work or, like de-elevate her work because like she's obviously like this like top end like author is she gonna like cheapen her work to you know accommodate him because she loves him and but all she said was like i'm just gonna keep trying my best that's all i can do and and he's gonna he's gonna do great and it's like that was kind of i i agree with that it was kind of mm. kind of cheap i don't i don't think she's gonna do that because like she is a she's a creator and so, like, she she can't just do that and not mm-hmm. know that he will see it, Notice, see through yeah. it. Oh, no, no. I'm not I'm not saying that she is going to cheapen her work. She's like, I'm what what I was like kind of disappointed. Is she's just like, well, I'm just going to keep trying my best and doing my best, which her best is like way better than anything that he can do. Um <laughs> But she, but just like to have that conversation with herself, it it, it felt kind of cheap because like mm-hmm. we talked about it, we're like, is she gonna like go lower? Is she gonna like de elevate herself to kind of like let him catch up? And she's she's not. She even said she wasn't. Like she's gonna try her best with whatever whatever she does. But it's it uh, it's just. I don't know. It it that whole scene was kind of cheap to me where she's just like I'm just going to keep doing my best and he's going to either catch up or not, but I hope he catches up so then we can get married and I love him and all that and stuff be I naked just, at all. I felt all that. Way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. there's actually I, I, a, a saying from the Ancient Magus Bride where um in the most recent one, I hope you've seen it, Rolando, um yes. where a character he says like certain certain words um what does he say? Certain so he words says, like he says certain words ripen with age and other words age. tend to fade. Their colors tend to fade over time. And when she was sitting there talking to herself and it, technically it was like to us, you know, and she was saying, well, he's the best. He's always been the best author in my mind. That's the type of words that would ripen with age and them saying it there. That's why it felt cheap to me. It felt early. It felt like we already knew this. This would have been better after two more seasons. And then she said it to him, not thinking to herself to us. Yeah, and I just thought I, it was shitty. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you guys think about the series as a whole? Um, Excellent. Uh, Alex, since you just went, what what kind of overall impressions and 10. rating? Out of 10, yeah. Um, out of 10. With the, with the way it started, I, I had low expectations from the beginning of the first episode. Um, but overall, this show was excellent. Obviously, it's brought us actual like conversation about the show, not just, hey, this was funny and that was cool. But uh, so because of that, the characters were all great. The developments, um, they did make some mistakes like the end of the last episode. But if anything, that just gave me something to talk about. So, I mean, like, personally, I think I'm going to give this one a nine. I think it's a really good show. Um, I liked the animation. I liked the characters. I liked the story. Uh, The random little shit they threw in was excellent. So, definitely a nine for me. Alec, will you watch Heneko after this? Dude, that's not... <laughs> he's going to think it sucks after he's seen this. <laughs> no, Heneko is dope, dude. Fucking watch that show. All right, I'll watch it. All right, Drew... Same, same, same artist. <laughs> Drew, what do, you, uh, what do you think overall impressions? 
I gave it a nine. I love this show. Um, it was it was enjoyable to the end. You know, we got it a little bit cheapened um, for all the things we've talked about, and you know, the scene that Alex pointed out with Nayuta and and things like that. Um, but su- super enjoyable. I hope it gets another season. I doubt that it will. Um, but su- super enjoyable for me. All the characters were l- relatable. Um, I felt for every single one of the characters. I don't think anybody was bad. It was just it. It was a show I looked forward to watching all season. So you know, we're going. I'm going with the nine. I I enjoyed it. Oh, all right. Mm. Um, I'm gonna go with the eight point five. Be a little different from you guys, but Ooh. I did enjoy the show. It was a very surprising, you know, entrance into this season for us, <laughs> especially yeah. because. The I know none. Of, no one was going to like even think about watching it because it was just like a show that nobody really knew about. But well, and, and I, I saw that it was like done by uh, Kantoku and I was like, yeah, it looks great. And then like I saw like the Reddit post of that first scene and I'm just like, this can't be real. Yeah, because like I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it like episode one. And then um, I told you no. Just like trust me, <laughs> you should yeah, watch just get it. past the get past weird the like three minutes. Achi, <laughs> three minutes. Yeah, with um, the god, the god rays all over the place. <laughs> but I, I think um, it's definitely like a show that surprised me with how deep it can be. Hmm you know, without like having the, the pretext of being that type of show. Right. Cause like, this is more along the lines of like your rom-com type show, but they do cover topics that are, you know, more adult, not adult mm-hmm. in the sense of like, Oh man, like they're just showing sex and violence all the time. <laughs> it's like adult in the sense of, you know, going through, like going over like the struggles taxes. of a young adult um, through life. Yeah, like taxes, like dealing with maturity, dealing with adversity in the workforce, like that kind of like struggles with creativity as an author and an artist. It's it's going over stuff that you don't think they would really cover in a show like this, especially with like the striking similarities it has with a show like Arrow Manga Sensei, which that show does try to cover topics like that, but not very Fails. well. So um, they had one excellent scene in that show though. Yes. And in it, the forest. It was the forest yes, scene. In the forest. <laughs> that's the and one that's scene. what they have them from for them. That's what yeah. they have. Well from. and yeah. And kind of going off of what you said, Rolando, like in terms of like they brought in a board game almost every week. They brought in a beer every week. And it, it was kind of interesting to like read about that and, and and see that in a culture where you you maybe think of anime and you think of like <clears throat> drinking heavily of like, you know, Sapporo's and Kirin's and stuff like that. But they brought in the kind of craft beer. They brought in, you know, unique board games. And it was it was it was cool to see for us because that's a lot of the things that we like, mm-hmm. you know, craft beer and board games. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, mm. exactly. I want to play that last. Sounds board like game. a good Saturday night. That last Which board one? game was super meta. <laughs> Nobody ever wins. You, yeah. you oh, never win. Like, you don't win. If you're like negative, if you're like negative <laughs> one, you're like doing well. You you're know? like, holy shit. <laughs> yes. The, so the ultra brutal game of life. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The life of an author. Well, uh, all right, so let's move on from our pairing to our loaded happy hour. Loaded. Everything is half off. Ooh. So um, well, why don't we Two dollar get balloon. through the finale of Shokugeki no Soma season three, part one. So can I can I start off with this one? Yes, let's go. S- Drew, start us off. Do it. I was so mad about this episode. <laughs> Like let's let's cook this amazing food and then just like we talked about let's have the three girls judge it and like oh it's not actually a real shokugeki I feel like Soma would compromise everything that I've done this is a Subasa sensei or 
Tsubasa Senpai or whatever the fuck. Like, Number one I'm not guy. actually gonna. I'm not. I'm not actually going to invite him to like work under me because he's a detriment to me. How fucking cheap was that? Like, I said that was gonna uh, happen though. I I, 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 know, I told you I'm, that if I'm it so happened like this, it would happen that way. <clears throat> I'm I'm so disappointed because I wanted him to like get into central and like tear it up from the inside and and that's what I was hoping for and we didn't get that and you know you knew you knew uh Subasa sensei whatever the fuck or Sukasa Sukasa whatever the fuck his name is um you knew that like he was going to win you knew that was going to happen and then just like to have it like cheapen where it's like you know, oh, he's better than me, but he's at a pinnacle that I can reach. And you're like, yeah, I kind of, I kind of knew that already. I don't know. It just felt. It, it felt, felt cheap, stupid, and dumb. It felt cheap. It felt stupid, and felt like and then I said let, it was going to be when yeah. if they went this route, and that's how they went. I and, I and, never and, thought that he was going to end up in central, so totally yeah, not not surprised at all. I also yeah. disagree. I mean, yes, I think that the way that they played it out was cheap, but I think that if he had ended up in Central, for me, that would have felt cheap. Just because that seems like a cop-out, whereas the way they went with like the the dad and all this crap seems more intriguing to me than him just fucking around in Central and screwing it up from the inside. All right, well, let's, well, what it, what let's it, talk about that. Let's talk about the dad. So like, let's talk yeah. about what a zombie kind of reveals at the end um, that his whole plan has to do with Soma's dad. So, uh, Drew, go ahead. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. It's like, you know, Jorichiro has been corrupted by society, and that's the whole reason that, uh, you know, Irina's dad is just like, I have to destroy society and build it up from the ground that I think is appropriate. It's like, does he have, like, a stalker fetish for... You know, so was dad like what's <laughs> what's going on there? It, it's it's so selfish. It's like I'm trying to reform all of Japan's like high end cuisine because I love so dad. Like that feels kind of creepy Cause, and because I love disgusting his food. to me. <laughs> yeah, I loved like, his food. And, or, well, and, and not only does he love his food, I think he loved that his daughter was able to eat his food. And mm-hmm. she's like the only one who was able to, you know, enjoy food for him because everybody else would cook for her and she's like well, and like fucking <laughs> I think because it's like she does have that god tongue or whatever that he like helped train yeah. and like obviously Ooh, like Joey Tro was able to cook food that she would tame eat. it yeah but <laughs> I think like he was probably the one that chose him to cook for her right mm-hmm. right so <clears throat> he had to have already had this admiration for him like to begin with, because he was like an underclassman. Um, He's a year younger, so, right? Yeah. yeah. So, and he was also third when he was second, and the other guy was first. Yeah. When, mm-hmm. but there's got to be something else behind there why he wasn't first and the other guy was first. Because I, I feel like this whole show is about how Soma's dad is the best cook who's ever been a cook ever, despite basically. the fact that he was only that he a second wasn't. seat. Exactly. And I feel that, like there has to be something to do with his personality that made him second where he was like, yeah, getting first is too hard. You know, that sort of shit or something. You know, well, know. he tells Soma, like, you know, rise to the top, be number one. And, you know, Soma's lost a couple of shokugekis down. Like, obviously, it's to like higher end people who are already working in the business and things like that. And then, then now the number one seat um so it's it's like hard to strive for and like soma's failing and it's it's hard on him you know but as they say failure is the best teacher it's i agree or as yoda says i definitely agree um (laughs) i do want to say one thing (laughs) is when the what arena's dad was saying he's been corrupted by society the only thing i thought was no dude he just found a good pussy and that's what he strove for. All right, bro. Because he got married and then he started the restaurant and had Soma. Well, who's, he didn't and get who's Soma's mom? Who's Soma's mom? We need that, too. We don't you know. know. I don't know. Azami well, yeah. killed he her. He didn't get corrupted. He got corrupted by a woman. We're going to find Ooh. out. That happens We're find to out. the best of us. Azami <laughs> killed her. Oh, my God. To uncorrupt him. Because she took him out of 
the quiz quiz- yeah. the highbrow Dude. cuisine world. Holy well, crap. And, and, and could you imagine sweet, if sweet. he went to the uh, the Soma's diner, <clears throat> the you know, and and ate that food? Like, could you imagine? Like, he how probably would have died. He's like, this is for the people. <laughs> he would have been what like, I'm eating dog food. I'm you. dead. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> we get that, and we also get you know, Ariana finally finding out that Soma is related to Joey Tro, as in being his son. So, and she had cummies. She had. Did cummies. you guys see her panties on the floor? By the way, it was like, yeah, hey, cummies. You yeah, really got to look, but yeah. there's just panties she, on the ground. That she just, she actually lost her panties just hearing it yeah they're actually on soma's head yeah she was just, just like out of nowhere Boom. She's, i'm putting this on your head i'm claiming you um and he's yeah. sitting there like talking and then later on he'll figure it out and he's just like why is there panties why are on there my head? panties on my head Who's uh, <laughs> <laughs> um so i mean that's the gist that's how they're setting up the uh the second half of season three that's coming in which spring. is confirmed is confirmed yep. for spring so Good, the Chinese were half right, Drew. There was a whole season yeah. in between, but I feel like not not a lot of shows are doing like 24, 25 episodes anymore. So I I kind of felt that coming. Yeah, I prefer. And the I'm okay 12. with it. And but also with like the, budget the, constraints. Yeah, and and the quality is going to be better if if they do it this way. So I, I'm I'm good with it. So uh, I have to ask you guys: uh, out of ten, what do you think this uh, season three part one? Um, rated Alec, let's start with you. Mm. Um, that's hard. Um, like, I'm gonna what's give it the a first six and number. A half. Okay, I was like, what's what the I first number the that first comes number. out of your head? First number is six and a half. Um, like, I, I liked that they brought back the, the cliffhangers, um, and all that, but I think some of the developments they made and all that were like, could have been done better. Um, and I think that for like half the season, it went really slow, but otherwise it's not bad. It wasn't as good as season one. That's for sure. Okay. Six and a half. Drew. It gets a five for me. Um, I was really disappointed how the first part of the season took place. We had like that whole conflict with a Chinese dude and it felt really unfinished when it's solved. And then we had like the whole hostile takeover kind of happen in two or three episodes and it felt really rushed to me. Um, I love this show and I will always continue to watch this show just because it's, it's great and I love it. But compared to like the first season, the second season, definitely not as high quality for me. And I think it has to do with like where they are in the manga and, and where they are for setting up a lot of characters but it just it felt totally rushed for me, and I was I was not a fan. Um, so I want more. I look umami, forward. Umami, umami, umami. Yeah, <laughs> I, I look forward to seeing like what they do uh, going forward because I think it's starting to heat up now. Um, I think if this season and the season in spring like were together, it would get a much higher rating for me. But like this whole this whole idea of just like getting in twelve episodes and kind of rushing it felt forced and that's why it gets a low rate a low rating for me but i still love it please watch it like if you're listening to this like please please watch this because i i do really enjoy it but yeah it's just it this this season isn't the best right um i'm gonna kind of be in between you guys i'm giving it a six um it's it like it's not a bad show and like you have to come into it with the pretext that you've seen seasons one and two. But I kind of feel like this season kind of felt like filler. Yeah. So like it, it was just definitely like a season that was like full of filler. So you know how you have those seasons of like Bleach and Naruto and all this stuff where they're not really covering what's going on in the manga and they just kind of make it up. It's anime original. It's kind of that it's kind of like that kind of filler, you know, where it's like it's not really going anywhere and you're not sure what's going on. Like the the whole thing that happened throughout this whole like season didn't really matter in the scope of things because they just 
introduced a new conflict at the very end, you know? Cause it's like, he- well, I, I kind of feel like it's important, but it was so rushed that it, it feels exactly how you're describing it. it. It, it feels like it's just cheap and like none of this matters. And then the very last couple episodes are like setting up for the future of it. So it's, it's, it's cheap in that way, but I, I'm not going to judge it fully until I see, you know, spring because I, I love this show. Like it's, it's awesome. And all the things that they're doing in uh, for it are great, but it's just, it felt cheap to me. And I, I think you kind of, kind of agree with that. And you've kind of hit on, on all of that, um, as you're kind of describing it. Yeah. Like it's, it felt, it feels like filler because the, the whole like first half of it was the, the, the festival. And, and that didn't matter. That didn't matter in the whole it, scheme of things. It didn't matter at all. They could have <laughs> had the whole, that whole arc be like two episodes. And then the important part of that arc was like, Soma having Tsukasa Senpai's food and then going like, wow, this well, is amazing, but he doesn't put any of his like own personality into it and like finding out. And, about and him. what was that? That was like six episodes. It was like six episodes of that. Yeah, it was like, like a long time. And I felt like they I don't know if it's that drawn out because I haven't been reading the manga or anything. So, mm-hmm. I mean, someone knowledgeable about it should know but it just felt like they kind of made it go on for a little too long because i felt like there were what four episodes dedicated to the whole like competition of like who was better between kuka and soma like i it just felt like a lot and i i didn't i didn't give a shit about that we I, we called the dude fucking mike tyson <laughs> like, <laughs> it, it, it didn't matter like it was i don't know uh, yeah, it's a six. Even if for me, it's even if the manga drags it on, there's a like different expectations between an anime and a manga because an anime when they drag it on like that, it feels a lot longer. But in in a manga, you can read through that like those four episodes like would minutes. be like ten minutes, if that. Like yeah, it's yeah. like twelve pages, and you're like, whoop. Well, that was cool. Nice to know that that was a thing, and so like the anime should have known that, Hey, we don't need to really include this, but yeah. Well, and, uh, eventually we'll have, uh, our buddy, a uh, hobo, our Canadian friend on, and, and he is a dedicated reader of, uh, this manga. So when we have him on, we'll, we can kind of talk to him about it and like what he feels about it. Um, but, but yeah, like uh, for what all you guys are saying, it just, it's, it, it felt cheap. It, yeah. it, it didn't hit hit everything that the previous seasons hit on. Um, every episode of the previous seasons, like I felt hit on important notes and then we got this and it's just like, I don't care about Mike Tyson. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't care Chinese about food. like, and, and the way they did it, like even in this last episode, they had a uh, Megami and uh glasses, death kid, like beat and, uh, fucking what's her name big tits american bra uh Nikumi. Nikumi. yeah they they had Best her girl. they had all three they had all three of them beat the central kids in like literally two minutes as like a flash i was okay with that bam, bam, yeah bam. and i and, and i and i was okay with that like we don't need anything more than that so i don't know i'm i'm hoping i'm hoping for better next season and i will always continue to watch this show because just everything about it the the art the music um the intensity and things like that are are all great and i and i want to see what happens with soma and i want to see what happens with you know his dad Gee. and and arena and you know douchebag arena's dad and all the things like it it, it, mm-hmm. it keeps me interested but this season was just meh right five five all right mm-hmm. well uh mm-hmm. now that we've kind of given our overall impressions for the shows we've been covering this season. Um, mm-hmm. Let's move on to our year in review. So in this section, we'll be covering anime that we've watched over 2017, not only the ones we've covered on this podcast, but ones that we may have been watching on the side. So 
we can start this off with our favorite beer of 2017. Um, so I'm going to yeah. put it out to you first, Alec. What was your favorite okay. beer of 2017? Zumbar chocolate coffee stout. 100%. Okay. No question in my mind. <laughs> no question. Hundo P. Hundo P. That dude. will be the best. That will be the best. Like my favorite beer of just of all time for a while until right. something better comes along. Maybe. Well, that'll make it easy for me to follow up because that was my pick as well. So, uh, Drew, what was your favorite Look beer? You. Look at you guys. <laughs> I am going, and this is not actually a beer that we covered on the show. We covered it like kind of briefly um, when we went to Blast Point, but my beer is the Habanero Sculpin, if you can believe that. This this beer is so good. I love the spicy elements. I love the Sculpin flavor, and you just throw like fruity, spicy Habanero into that. I'm like, okay, hand emoji. This shit is, is good. All right. Okay, hand. Okay, hand. No, no need for the emoji. Um, Screw emojis. So, well, we need both. No, we need both. We don't need any of those. <laughs> um, <No. laughs> moving on. So, our favorite anime of 2017. I'm going to leave it up to three. So, up to three. Pick three. So, uh, Drew, yep. start us off. Konosuba season two. We didn't. We uh, didn't start the podcast when that was airing. We did not. But that was that uh, super unfortunately because that show is that show is so sick. Like holy fuck! That like if you have not watched Konosuba, even season two, like watch season one, watch season two. It's got to get a, a, another anime adaptation because please, that shit God, is so please, fucking good. Please. Um, <laughs> my second show is uh, Owari Monogatari season two. Um, one of the few shows this season or this year that I've given a 10 to, um, they wrapped up the main story of Monogatari, um, with Adadadadadadadadagi and, uh, his whole deal with becoming a man and, uh, oh, solving wow. all the, uh, he became a man finally. Well, that, uh, I mean, I, that's what the show's all about. It's, it's coming of age. It's Adadagi, fin- uh, like figuring out like what he wants, um, there's all these girls in his life that he's had to save and he's was finally he figured it out. And, well, <laughs> he was a teenager. Oh, oh. And now he's, no, he's, he no, had he's the surgery, <laughs> <laughs> but he's, he's figured it out. He's, he's saved all these girls and he's like, this is what I want at the end of the day. And a harem. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it for you guys because Alec, you're never going to watch it because you're a piece of shit. I'm a thousand Rolando. episodes behind. dude. <laughs> Rolando, when you, when you finish it and you see the culmination of the ending and, also and you watch this shit, and you watch this and you're like, <laughs> holy fuck. Like this is how it ends. Like just super, super good. So I highly recommend the Monogatari series. Get get ready to read. Um, get ready to no. think about your symbolism and, and all the shit with that. But uh, I highly, highly recommend that series. And we're getting more. We're getting more Monogatari. It's a kind of Are there still series, like four books or something left that still need to be attached? There, there, there's, there's tons of books, but they're not like this ended the main story of it. Um, Why not just and, read uh, it? His, the author, the reading's even more brutal, but uh, Neosin, um, the the guy who writes it, it's it, they're they're not anime, they're light novels. Wow. But uh, uh, Neosin, the the guy who writes it, is just so prolific, and I I highly recommend this series to anybody. My my not last anime. favorite anime is a tie is a tie between two, and I was super happy with gamers, and Spiking I know we talked rules. about this a lot, but uh, no, I, I'm not going to talk about them a lot. But Breaking gamers was. <laughs> Gamer Gamers was super tight and I'm not going to go more into it because you guys can listen to the previous podcast but Gamers was super cool. I I enjoyed like arguing with these like teenagers who can't figure out their love life and and all that shit. But Gamers is tight and then uh Kakeguri which we talked about briefly. I love seeing cummies and you know orgasms over gambling that was that was super tight all for right me. So, so you like seeing come those... on teenagers i get it <laughs> with that throw it throw it to somebody else don't get me in trouble <laughs> um <laughs> alec uh what were your favorites of 2017 um so i'm gonna have to agree with one of those with drew konosuba season two okay hand 
All right. That shit is amazing. So sick. Everybody so needs to sick. watch it. There is not a single person on the planet, whether you like anime or not, who would not enjoy that show. Be- well, I'm sure there's a, like a handful of people and I don't want to know them, but that show is hilarious and awesome and amazing and everyone should watch it. Um, the other two shows that I really enjoyed, um, Sisters All You Need. I actually thought that show was excellent. That's why I gave it such a high rating. And then another one that we haven't talked about on the podcast, but we've done shots about it, is The Ancient Magus Bride. Is actually quickly made it to one of my top favorite animes just of all time. And uh, I definitely think it's my favorite, complete favorite of 2017 entirely. Right. Go listen to the shots and you can see why. <laughs> okay. So for my favorites, I chose... As the other two have stated, Konosoba, uh, Konosuba Season 2. Konosoba. Konosoba. <laughs> um, you want some um, Konosoba? Uh, like, I, if you haven't figured it out, it's great. So f- watch it. Um, and then my other two are Sai Kano Season 2, um, which I have written a few blog posts about. And um, Love Live Sunshine Season 2. <laughs> which um just ended this season. Oh god. And oh god. So I just want to talk about this briefly, but this show is fucking lit. So many fucking <laughs> memes. So many memes. And um I had this in- inkling like about halfway through the season that they were I was just like this show feels like a fucking like play or like musical theater. Like it feels like a musical. And as I kept watching it, there were so many things that were very similar to like when they like took like popular musicals and started making them into film. They used so many things that happened in there, like in those films and like just shit in like theater and musical theater in general. That was like, I felt like, is this like an anime or like, is this a play? And then, (laughs) of course, at the very end of episode 13, like they break out into like a musical number at the end and then curtains close and it says love live sunshine. And I'm like, I fucking knew it. It's a fucking, <laughs> it's a fucking play. Like it seems like, it seems like it, it's a fucking musical. So spoilers. Well, Rolando, I have, I have to ask you who's best girl, best girl of course. Rico. Girl. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, like Thank you girl. For girl. Okay. girl. I, I have to say I would probably replace Sisters All You Need with Saikano because I forgot that was twenty seventeen. Um because I watched the whole thing in like a Oh week. yeah, I forgot you watched all of that. <laughs> I watched the entire two seasons in like a week and a half. So excellent show. I agree. I'll replace Sister with that. Sister is very good too, but does not beat Konosuba because Konosuba is excellent. Konosuba, watch that fucking watch, show. Watch watch Konosuba. Boys. Just yeah. that's the that's, that's the insane. moral of the story. So yep. um, oh, so let's move on. So the biggest surprise of 2017. So for this one, what is the biggest surprise for you? If you want to name a runner up, you can. So um, Drew, let's start with you. We know what he's going to say. What, what am I going to say? Sisters, all you need. <laughs> That's that's a hundo P because that's while you were talking P. about it, you kept going, Oh, this is oh, my this biggest is surprise. My we'll big talk surprise. about that later. <laughs> we'll talk about this later, but this is one of my biggest surprises <laughs> for twenty seventeen. But we'll talk about that later. Well, we and 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 we said it. Like you see how that show opens yeah, and ridiculous. you're just like what? I had my finger on the X on the browser. <laughs> just you're like, like I'm going like, to close what? this in like five seconds. I'm going to get arrested for yeah. this. I'm going to get arrested for this. <laughs> and and it turns out to be this super enlightening show about like the coming of age of an author and trying to figure out, you know, who who he loves in his life and and why he can't love her. And, you know, all the characters are good. It's just it it's a super super good show um and and we've we've talked about it before and i'm i'm gonna give a runner up here guys uh masamune kun's revenge 
Um, I I really like this show. I I thought it was great. We talked about it in the previous season. Um, I I like a lot of the characters, but I th- I think that where it where it stumbles and where it's not as good is uh, you know the ending of the season where we get Tubby and he's <laughs> Chubby Masamune, Masamune now and and, and just and just just a ton of ton of that shit is is where that kind of falls short but uh, those two shows are excellent um i hi- i highly recommend both of them so i'm not i'm not going to go crazy on those but that's that's uh, those are my uh, biggest surprise for 2017 <clears throat> all right alec what about you my biggest surprise is sister is all you need as well Ooh. like <clears throat> same thing just with the way it starts um, and then it, even from there, the way it starts, it continues on to something where you're like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then it just gets like real deep, but n- still while not taking itself too seriously. And I think that's just a sign of, for me, like a good show. Cause w- whenever they take themselves super seriously, they end up falling just flat on their face and, uh, they didn't do that. And so excellent job, huge surprise. All right. Well, surprisingly, can you guess what show I chose? Uh, uh. Of the ones we watched? Yeah. MMO. No, it's actually a sister's all you need. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, as these guys have iterated from how it starts and then how you expect it to go afterwards, it's completely like not what you expect. And it's surprisingly, as we said before, like... <clears throat> enlightening so um there's that and then my runner-up was gamers because i totally had zero expectations for that show (laughs) and they it definitely did surprise me and then a couple of honorable mentions were series of children which was a little short anime that was like random romance stuff that surprisingly if you ask our friend mark who's been on the show a couple of times is you know a pretty substantial romance for like a short format and then princess principal was another kind of surprising anime that um i don't think anybody really had any expectations for so um yeah. moving on <coughs> your biggest disappointment of 2017 so uh drew let's start with you shokugeki no soma season three Ooh. um mm. I, I had super high expectations for this just because of how the previous couple seasons have been and it just kind of fell flat. We talked about it earlier. It's this season had a lot of things that we didn't care for and a lot of things that we felt could have made it better. I feel like it's transitioning into the spring, uh, the spring season where it's going to kind of build on this arc that we've all been waiting for. But just in terms of, you know, the pacing and the setup and things like that, it just, it didn't live up to the hype. And that's why I gave it a five. I mean, it, it wasn't, it wasn't great. Um, but, I have high hopes for the future. I love this show, like I've said before, and I hope you guys all watch it. But this season in particular, kind of like a segue into the other season. And for me, it just it, it wasn't the best. Do you have a runner up for biggest disappointment? I don't I don't have a runner up. I felt like a lot of anime that we saw or a lot of anime that we were expecting this season, like Attack on Titan and things like that. I felt like they performed well. Um, I have some like worst anime that we'll talk about later, but uh, in t- in 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 terms of like things that I were expecting to be good and weren't good, I think Soma kind of takes the cake for that. All right, Alec, what about you? I know I'll sound like a broken record, but <clears throat> I think this season of Shokugeki was probably something that was really hyped. <laughs> uh, we're, uh, we're green boys. I know we're, we're green. <laughs> it was just I was so hyped for it. Whereas the other shows we watched, I had zero expectations for. Like MMO Junkie, I had no expectations, and it exceeded zero expectations well and above. Same with Sister. I had the expectation that it was going to be something creepy and weird, and it was excellent. Um, I guess I can't say that about Magis Bride because I had high expectations for it from the three OVAs and then the manga, and then the anime does it justice. But like Shokugeki just kind of fell flat on its face and kind of just pooped itself and so definitely gonna be a disappointment 
there. Okay. Any runner up or um runner up would also be my worst anime. Um so I'll just You'll save I'll it. pass until okay. then, yeah. Um my my biggest disappointment surprisingly is not Shokugeki. I really thought long and hard about it, but it was actually Soccer Request. Um Mm, that was close one. for me too. That that was close for me yeah. too. Um, that's a good choice. Like coming from a studio like PA Works, who has a pretty good track record, but also has shows Glass Lip. like Glass Slip and the likes. <laughs> um, I had high expectations, so um, I believe I give the show like a seven or something like that. But it's a show that. Like should have been in and of itself should be closer to like a like an eight and a half or a nine, but they very like poorly executed it. There was a lot of very poor animation quality in it. It overall felt like there were episodes that didn't need to be there. It kind of dragged on. I just was very disappointed in it, and um, now have a very low bar set for uh, PA work shows. Um, from their recent years. So I'm going to say Soccer Quest was my biggest disappointment. And then um, surprisingly, the runner up I had was New Game Season 2. Just because um, I, ju- I just kind of felt like some of the conflicts in there were a little too shallow. And um, mm-hmm. when well, you, you had a lot of expectations from reading the manga and things like that. And it, it, it seemed like every time we talked about it, it didn't work out the way you you thought it would be yeah um they did a lot of shuffling which did help like in terms of telling the story in the anime medium but overall like i felt like what they covered was pretty meh at least compared to the first season so there's that um shokugeki was very close like i was really considering throwing that on there but I wanted to I figured you guys would say it, so I kinda <laughs> wanted to have something different to say. It just was meh. Yeah. Yeah. It was meh. All right. I wanted it to be a yeah. ten and it wasn't. <laughs> so um instead of going to the best of twenty seventeen, let's start with the worst of twenty seventeen. So what was your worst anime of twenty seventeen, Drew? King's game and God my damn. girlfriend okay. is is God is a gal. It. Okay, so I want to Bo- I want to say <laughs> why why do you take all my choices? I'm gonna I want to say <laughs> can't you agree with I, me for once? Paul? I I want to say first, um, <clears throat> what is the worst anime that you've seen through its entirety? <laughs> King's game. I saw the whole thing. You saw the whole <clears throat> King's game. I watched the entire thing. Drew, I, I could I couldn't watch the whole thing. It's awful. <laughs> I because I would thing. have put King's Game on there, but I watched the first episode and stopped watching. So I can't, <laughs> I cannot justify putting that on there. I watched all twelve episodes. All right, people. Okay. All I right. watched. I watched four. <laughs> I watched four episodes and I had to drop it. It was just an Obama fucking nation. Like that shit was so bad. And then I watched like the first three of your my first girlfriend is a gal and that fucking fat guy who kept like wanting who to kept like wanting rape, to bang like, kindergartners. Like <laughs> that was like what the fuck? Like I I I can I couldn't finish. Like most of the other anime well, I finished this finish. season were were at least good. Like they they at least had something that like kept me watching. But these two, uh, like it was so bad. All right. Well, Alec, I you said what yours was. You want to elaborate on King's Game since you watched all of it? Yes, I watched all twelve episodes. Um, God, I'm, I'm sorry so- for you. I wouldn't say that it was exactly torture, but it wasn't enjoyable. <laughs> I watched all of it purely because I knew both of you would not. And so I said, fuck it. I'm going to bite this bullet. And I'm going to see, I'm going to see this shit to the end. And so I saw this shit to the end and, um, it's more comedy than thriller. If anything, um, but it's not supposed to be a comedy. And, that, and that's no. not what it's trying to be. Exactly. And it's not. And it's funny because the conflicts they have are ridiculous. The character development is awful and just poorly, poorly planned. <laughs> Halfway through, I'm pretty sure at the beginning of the series, when someone like lost an arm, blood would splurt out. Halfway through, this big black bar would appear, 
and it was like censored. Um, and then at the very end, they're like the whole season, they're trying to find a way to end the Kings game. And they find out that the way to end the Kings game is to have them all die. <clears throat> basic spoilers is to have everybody who's <laughs> Please been in spoil it for me. Like, oh, man, everybody spoilers. involved in the Kings game has to die for the Kings game to end because apparently it's a virus that transfers over the computer <laughs> over through text messages. <laughs> what? Yes, it is a virus. I want to die. It is. I want to die. Guys, oh it is gosh, a virus. It, this sounds it is worse actual, than fucking my yoga. <laughs> Fuck. Holy shit. It is shit. actually a virus that somehow managed to make its way into text <laughs> messages. But here's the best part. Originally, it was a virus that was transmitted via written mail. So it was, it was in chain the paper. mail. It was, it was chain fucking mail. chain I, mail. It's chain mail. I'm so, yes. I'm, I'm so glad you watched this whole thing. Like, holy shit. Right? How lit is this? This is fucking meme-tastic right here. I okay, want to... So, I want to... Like, hold on. Before you, before you finish, I want to... I want to... So I want to just say to whoever created this series, I am sorry <laughs> that you thought this was a good idea. <laughs> It was, th- you know that they're just creating a meme. They're like, this is going to be a meme, boys. I, you ready? I am I am sorry that people are <laughs> laughing at what you thought was a great creation in your mind. Alec, Alec, think think of the episode where they're all like in that dude's house and they're like jamming out on instruments yeah. oh and my shit. God. And that then was he episode <laughs> one. And then he hangs himself. <laughs> and then he kills himself. And then he fucking kills himself. Yeah, you, you referenced the one episode both of you saw. <laughs> That so, was so tonight, dude. <laughs> so the, the way it ends is everyone who's b- ever been involved in the Kings game has to die. Otherwise, this virus will spread via the Internet. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and so in the end, they all die. But of course, at the very end, some kids walk into school and he gets a text. Oh, you want to join the Kings game? Bullshit. But even more lit is they killed there them. at this well no maybe no. Uh, they they died at this house at the at the end of the last episode they died there but they have a chainsaw and they literally <laughs> like this one girl takes the chainsaw and just cuts open the guts like the the whole like she destroys this evil girl's spine and like you know the red-haired yeah. girl who's crazy she destroys yeah. her spine but oh, somehow, she dies yes she dies at the very end and so does the main dude. But somehow Do they she's laying on least? the ground. No. Uh, somehow she's, she's laying crazy. on the ground with a fucked up spine. And yet she thinks of the main guy as her dead ex-boyfriend. And that's why she hates him so much but loves him. And so this other girl's into him. And he is like into her clearly. <laughs> and so this girl with a fucked up spine because of a chainsaw gets up, picks up the chainsaw, cuts the main guy's throat, and then goes down and goes, if you're going to die, it's going to be with me because I love you. And then they die. And the other girl's like, wait, oh wait, my god. <laughs> so so is this that girl with the fucked up spine, is she the one from the previous Kings game? No, she's, well, so, she, you know, the girl who starts out super nice and then ends up being like, oh, like he's raping me. He's Tuck in me, the forest. He's you. raping me. That the girl, girl with yeah. the blue you know hair. T- no, she has red hair. I don't think you got far. Enough oh, no. Yeah. So, OK, the the girl, the crazy girls with the red hair, the one that says he's raping her. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's Who's this like girl standing in the rain with her bra. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's this girl that is like, oh, I love you. Because you remind me of my ex-boyfriend, essentially. And then has basically a chainsaw to the spine. Still somehow manages to stand up, pick up a chainsaw, start it, cut this dude's throat, and then fall to the ground. And then have this whole like internal monologue nice. about loving him. Nice. And then the girl, who was clearly in love with the main dude, the reason why he got killed because of the other girl, drags him like 50 miles to the beach and then drowns herself. That, that's dude, the girl with like the blue hair. No, the girl with the blue hair died in the previous. Uh, okay, I'm just trying previous. to extrapolate. I feel, I feel this is a completely different character feel, you haven't I've, met yet. I, I feel like we need to watch more bad anime just so we can like shit on it more because this this <laughs> shit was like the, ridiculous. No, it was the ending I, was like what the fuck is? It was amazing. It was the worst amazingness I've ever like, seen. I can't I can't <laughs> stomach like anime as bad as King's Game anymore <laughs> because. I'm I'm yeah. at the point where like I'd rather watch some fucking shitty harem than watch fucking <laughs> yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. <laughs> All right. It was um, excellent. Uh, 
Well, what, what, what was your worst anime role? My though? worst anime of 2017? Masamune Kun's Revenge. No! Yes. Oh, no. I fucking, I fucking hated that last arc so much that it left <laughs> such a bad taste in my mouth. I I just did not like the fucking fat Masamune arc. It was so <laughs> fucking... It was such a stupid, shitty cop-out that it made me forget everything that happened in the first part. <laughs> it was just so bad. Um, it, it, it was bad. Yeah, I, I agree that it was bad, but I, I felt like the show as a whole was, like, good. Like, it, it was okay. I, like, it... It affected me so much that if it got another season, I would seriously really reconsider whether I was going to watch it or not. Oh, that's sad. So that's that was my pick for worst of 2017. Um, I'm not going to say King's Game because I only watched one episode <laughs> of it. Um, too bad for you. It was me. Yeah, too bad. Apparently, yeah, man. So man, it was just hilarious. <laughs> so let's um <laughs> let's move on to the best anime of 2017. Um. Drew, pick one, but you can have a runner up. I don't have a runner up. Okay. Because this this anime that I'm gonna pick it was better than everything. Owari Monogatari this season. It was Owari Monogatari. <laughs> that uh And he already explained I, why. Like I I hate you guys because you won't you won't dedicate like the time and like the mental. It's the same I can watch, I watch Game of I can watch I can watch two seasons of Terrace House <laughs> in the same amount of time. What? I can watch a please, season. Please I can what? watch three seasons of Game of Thrones. Should I watch that instead? Please. I can no, watch a please, bunch of Japanese watch. people that don't know how sex works. <laughs> <laughs> Try and figure that out. Please. Please, please watch Monogatari, guys. No. Like, please. No. It, it makes me so sad that you won't because... Because it's bad. When when you... No, it's not bad. When when you get to this point in the series <laughs> and you've watched all the movies, you've watched the show, you've watched, you know, second season, and here you are, and you, you see how it ends, and you're just like... And you just see how well, bad it my is, dick- and you hate it. No, no, no. Well, well, my dick is hard. <laughs> I, I, un- my I understand is the whole... I, I understand the whole process that happened and you're just like, my mind is blown and this was amazing <laughs> and, and and you're good. You don't want any more. You could deal with more, but you don't want any more because it closes it closes all the ties. You're like, Yep, this is how it should have ended and, <clears throat> and it did and it and it was great. So please like you don't have to watch them all in one day. It took me it took me like almost four months after Owari came out to like prep myself to watch it. I understand that it is a fucking investment and and you need to like destroy your brain and like come back and then watch it. But it 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 is so good, guys. It, it it's not it, it and I'll watch to Game me, of Thrones. So before b- before you go, it it's like it's not even Where close to any other. I mean, it's 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 not even close to any other anime I've watched. It it is above and beyond anything that I've ever watched, American or otherwise. It is it is that good. I'm gonna and, okay. And I'm gonna I love I'm it. gonna let you know that I do like yeah. the Monogatari series, but falling behind on that series is very daunting. Yes, yes, yes because yes, I agree. It is such a mental strain just to watch the show because it's a waste of time every 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 episode is 23 minutes of dialogue and it and it is hard it's not just dialogue it's also um symbolism like cinematic symbolism And that is why like I always think about like, oh, maybe I'll like, you know, continue watching this. And then I go like, oh, I have to finish this and this and this and this. And then I go like, Mm -hmm. do I have the mental just willpower to watch all of like well and 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 that's why it took me like three to four months to even get my head around watching Owari season two because it 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 is a lot. And it, yeah, season it is painful. two, and you're asking me to watch the entirety of the anime. And and I think I think you will <laughs> no. you will enjoy it. Not doing that. Though. I, I, I I honestly don't like think that this anime is Alex's cup of tea. 
I, and and I agree with that. But like Rolando, I I plead with you, like take the time, like one day. And I understand the struggle. It it is hard, but when you get to when you get to this point at the end of Awari and you see the culmination of everything that's happened and you kind of have an understanding for all the characters at one okay. point, you're just like, I'm just going to say no magic where, where I'm at is where, where I currently am at is, mm-hmm. is Hanukkah's um, arc, like not her like original arc, but like the second part, her tiger. Yes. Tiger. And I Spoilers. fucking hate her character. And so this is what is her character isn't great. This is why I I, I just can't like think about stomaching the rest of that season. So that's why. But I've it kind of so so don't think don't think about it as her character. Think about it as as like everybody growing as a whole. Because I I agree that arc wasn't the best. It had to, but it it did have to happen. And and everything comes back to Araragi in the end and it, it it just has to do with like his development and things like that so I agree it's not the best I I implore you to struggle through it and just and get through it because oh my god the, should you the ever have to struggle of this series, through watching something to enjoy it I, I had to I had to <laughs> struggle through watching the last like six or seven episodes that were Owari <laughs> And when I did, I I was my my brain was exhausted. I was like ready to have like a mental breakdown, really but I was happy. At the end. He's giving mental labor, is what he's trying to say. <laughs> just do All it. Right. Just 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 fucking so, do it, bitches. Like Alec, no, don't be a it's bitch. It's like a hundred episodes before it. before we get on. Alec, a, Alec, Alec, you don't rant. do it, Rolando. Alec, you do it. <laughs> best anime of 2017. <clears throat> For me, it's Magic Bride, hundred percent. Okay. Yep. Runner up, you can just uh, runner up Konosuba. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, I'll leave it at that. I'll. <laughs> I'm gonna say my best anime of 2017, despite it being something that's continuing into the next season, was Ancient Magic's Bride. Um, this show. Now, Drew. Now you keep talking about recommending shows, as in. He'll never if, watch if it. You, if you guys watch Monogatari, you're asking, I will watch Magic you're, you, So right. you're like, hey, I'll watch 12 <laughs> episodes if you watch 150. No. <laughs> Fuck it's off. Not, it's not even 150. It's not, 150 it's not episodes, 150. but I have to say, um, Ancient Majesty's Bride is probably <clears throat> one of the more well-executed and thought-out animes that's being put out. And it makes sense. It's Wit Studio. See, it's the studio that does Attack on Titan. So they know how to do their adaptations. Um, this show it's excellent is excellent. The source material is very good. The mm-hmm. story is good. The execution is good. The soundtrack is good. The animation is very good. I mean, I can't really think of another anime that has aired in 2017 that kind of that I have seen that kind of even matches it and it's not even over there's still Mm -mm. it's continuing into this next season so i'm gonna say that it's kind of my exception of the rule and then my runner-up would be saikano season two just because i think it needs to get the third season to finish the story and third season would be good and yeah um other than that i'm gonna say that's it so Magis um, is Ghibli esque. Okay, if you like Ghibli, it is. It's very I, watch it. I I will watch. I will watch Magisters. Alec, I don't Magisters. give a fuck about you. You you won't you won't watch Monogatari. I'll watch sad, other short c- series before I watch that. <clears throat> it's like forty. It's like forty five episodes. Like get over it. But Rolando. I don't know. Wa- about please, that. please finish Monogatari like on your time. Like I'm not, I'm not asking you to binge it because you cannot binge, I that, cannot show, binge that show. But please, there's like seven different where seasons. I'm at. I cannot fucking there's handle. There's like seven Hanukkah. different yeah, seasons. No, and, and, How is and, it? Forty five episodes. I, there's mo- like there's movies and there's things like that. It, it is not. And they're like an hour long. No, they're like yeah, an hour and so a half. It is like three episodes. But Rolando, please, please Fuck watch that. it. Like it will make me happy. No I, I will watch Magister's Bride. 
<laughs> watch right. Monog- General, boys, watch watch Monogatari. It, it, oh. it, it's so good. All right. Moving on. Fuck. Fuck. Um, let's wrap this up with um, what we're looking forward to in 2018. So, um, Alec, let's start with you. Um, All right. Well, name up oh, to sorry. three shows. Mm hmm that you're looking forward into winter for the winter. Um, yes. well, if you couldn't have guessed it, Magus's bride, cause Ooh. it is going into winter. Obviously I'm looking forward to that because it's excellent. Um, one of them we haven't talked about here that I am actually looking forward to is March comes in like a lion. I believe mm-hmm. a new season is coming out in winter and that I actually did enjoy, even though it was kind of dark and very kind of depressing. <laughs> um, it's a shaft show, Drew. It's shaft. Ooh. Fuck. It was um, very good when I watched it and I enjoyed it. So that's coming up with a new season. And then when I first started my re-entry into anime, this is one of the first ones I watched actually. And it was on Netflix and that's Seven Deadly Sins. And that's getting a second season in Ooh. 2017. And that yeah. show was great. And I loved it. Every minute of it, not a single minute was bad. And so I'm really excited for season two to finally come out because they had like that short, quote unquote, season. It was like four episodes or something. Like, how is that a season, you fucks? But anyways, all right, <laughs> those are my three. <laughs> Drew? I'm not looking forward to anything in in fucking winter. I, I scoured through like what's coming out and the only thing that looked like even remotely interesting to me. And even this wasn't like that interesting to me. It was, uh, Hakata Tonkutsu, uh, Tonkutsu ramen. So ramen. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it, aren't there I, two I, ramen I animes like coming s- out this season? <laughs> yeah, there, there are two, there are two ramen animes. The, uh, the other one looked like a rom-com and I'm like, whatever, but this one's like about like killers and like a highly evolved killer who kills people with ramen. and is that the one like where that? they're like leaning with on ramen, the bridge, I guess in the I picture. I don't know. I, yeah. I think that one, yeah. it, I was interested in that one too. So I agree. I, I think I think that one will be interesting, but everything else didn't look very interesting to me. So I think I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch up on Seven Deadly Sins, like you said, Alec, and I'm going to catch up catch up on uh, Medister's Bride, so I can so we can get up on that and talk about that. But uh, other than that, it didn't it didn't look like a good season. What I'm actually looking forward to in 2017 that I wrote down was Steins Gate Zero. I think or the year of uh, Kendrick Lamar 2018 <laughs> um, the year of our Gumi. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm looking forward to science gate zero, um, Shokugeki. And if this happens, which I would be super surprised about is uh, Evangelion 3.0 plus 1.0, the new movie to kind of culminate the end of the Evangelion series. My boy, Ano has announced that it will happen in 2018. Ano, I doubt dude. it. Really believe I, I, that Hideaki Anno I, is I, be a man of his word. I, I, I so doubt it. But if that comes out in 2018, let's, okay, like, let's I, let's remember I will be the happiest camper. Let's remember when <laughs> when rebuild of Evangelion <laughs> was eventually yep, starting. Yep. Don't remind me. Don't remind me. He said that <clears throat> the four movies were going to come out within <laughs> like five or six years. How yep. many years and, has it been? Uh, we're, since rebuild well, of Evangelion, three, 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 three point three three came out in twenty twelve, I believe. Twenty. Let, let us remember maybe. how long it has taken for the like. Let's remember and, they uh, they it, wanted to redo this because <laughs> they felt like they didn't have enough time for the original series, and they've taken like fucking <laughs> ten years to do these movies. So. So three, like one, one point one one, two point two two, and three point three three came out kind of within a close scope of each other, which is like eight years, like between all of them. And then three point three three came out in like 2012, 20, 2011, sometime sometime around then, maybe twenty thirteen at the latest. And now we've been waiting, and Anno is like, I'm gonna do Godzilla. 
<laughs> and then he's like, oh, appar- apparently he got like revived by doing that. Like, I'm, oh, I'm actually apparently do I want to talk three, about three point. Fucking- th- like fucking I'm gonna do I'm gonna do three talk about fucking three point oh <laughs> Yeah and then and then I'm gonna do three point oh plus one uh one point oh and finish it off but who the fuck knows if it comes out this year I'll be so happy but watch 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 the rebuilds watch um Evangelion watch end of Evangelion um watch all that shit so and and then be disappointed like I am when uh, the final rebuild doesn't come out. And uh, yeah, you'll be uh, disappointed gonna, in the uh, down da- down in the dumps like I am all the time. He's taking so it, long; it, it'll never happen. That before he's actually finally fucking happy with how the story ends, he's gonna fucking die. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like the fucking dude for Game of Thrones, uh, or the fuck his name is. Um, I whatever. I know who you're talking but about, like, but. But he he had like the the final seasons of Game of Thrones done before he's like even yeah, there's like two he's books fucking left old and, he's and like, obese he's so like he's, he's gonna, like, like he knows 80, he's gonna 80, fucking 80 die before they <laughs> fucking do it. Um, so to wrap this up, my yeah get get me looking out of here. forward to 2018 winter, Seven Deadly Sins season two, um Daka- Dagashi Kashi season two, and Violet Evergarden, um. So, Kyoani, if you mess this up, um, <laughs> then I have no words for you. Um, the Kashi Kashi is just, you know, kind of comedy about candy, candy shops. It was an interesting first season that was like a pretty surprising anime in 2016. And then Seven Deadly Sins, can't say it more than enough. Watch it. If you haven't seen the first season watch it um, it's on netflix you, you have no excuse you have no excuse just watch it be ready for the second season so to wrap up this kind of monster episode um monster we kind of have two episodes two seat not two seasons two Ooh, episodes fuck. worth of content and it's about right you know we're kind of like going to be close to like an hour 20 minutes something like that um but Thank you for everyone that's listened to us over 2017. We're not yet Mm -hmm. at our one year anniversary, but we will be coming to it after this winter season. Yeah, we have to come up with something cool. Thank you to everyone that has been listening to us over this whole time. We love you guys and girls. So I just want to close this up with we will have an upcoming AOD shot for just because. We will probably have mm-hmm. two just to cover Most like likely. the kind of last couple episodes and then our overall impressions. So look out for that. Jam packed. It'll be jam packed. We need to we need to do a uh, blend s uh, wrap up as well. All right, Drew wants to do a blend we'll, s we'll, wrap up. We haven't done one since yeah, like we'll the third episode of the season. <laughs> it's a long um, wrap up. <laughs> Mike, my, my, Micah, please, please cook me. And then we will most likely do another. Magus Bride shot. Yes. Because yes. Drew hasn't watched it. And unless he watches it, we won't cover it in the podcast. I have plenty to say. So I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna I'm gonna catch up on it because from what you guys have been saying, it's it's excellent. And I've seen short clips of it and things like that. I'm like, I need to get into this. So I'm gonna stop by Jojo, my Jojo binge <laughs> and get on uh get on some uh, Magister's Bride. I'm 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 down for that. All right. Woo! Well, as I'll long try as and people watch keep their promises, um, we will have first. a very <laughs> fruitful 2018. So look out for it. Yeah. So thank you for watching. Hopefully with a uh, hopefully with a new uh, like badge or emblem logo. or art, whatever logo, whatever you want to call it. Yes. Uh, we're hoping to get that done and a new soon song. and things like that. So. New theme song. Yep. Yes. Mm. Mm. All right. Mm. Thank you, everyone. Mm. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Mate.